It is true that ported subwoofer are better for home theater and silly subwoofer for music. In this video I'm not only going to share with you my comparison between SVS PB2000 Pro and SB2000 Pro, but we will take a deep look inside the interesting topic, sealed versus ported. Which one is better or which one it will give you the best performance in your environment? Let's find out. I choose the 2000 series because when it comes to speak about value for money subwoofer, well, SVS is a top player. They are affordable, incredibly versatile and they are coming with an excellent build quality. Both SB and PB are coming with the same amplifier 550W RMS the Sledge STA550D and same 12 inch high excursion driver. Where the SB is sealed and the PB is bus reflex ported, so we are going really to do an realistic comparison where the only difference is the cabinet. Look the PB2000 Pro size, oh my god, I didn't expect it could be so big compared to my SVS SB2000 Pro. A special thanks to SVS and SVS Germany that sent it to me for the comparison. Specs are really interesting, 19 240 plus 3 dB Hz for the SP and 16 290 for the PB. So specs are speaking really clearly, the PB is able to going lower, but I perform some measures with my Yumiq One and Rumeku Wizard. Of course what you are going to see is the frequency response in my room, that for sure will be different from your. I disable all the equalizations and the DSP from the applications and I placed both subwoofer in the same sweet spot, that in my room is on the side middle positions. Regarding the SVS smart app, I have to say that it's simply amazing. It's working really, really perfect, bug free, it's beautiful, well done and you can do everything. We already spoke about it in the SVS 3000 micro review. So just take a look of this review if you want to know how the application is working. And now let's find out how the subwoofer was performing in my room. First comparison we have the SB2000 Pro versus the PB2000 Pro. Between 50 and 70 Hz SB has more energy, where the PB is playing with more power between 20 and 40 Hz. And we have the PB that has something like plus 5 dB compared to the SP, so it's really really efficient. In this second test I measured the frequency response at different volumes to check stability and as we can see nothing change in the PB frequency response and also in the SB frequency response. Great, but actually what is interesting is not the frequency response but the distortions measures. The PB at minus 30 is excellent, at minus 20 is great and at minus 15 we'll start to have small second harmonics distortions in the 20 Hz area. And when I'm saying minus 30, 20, 15 I'm referred to the SVS applications where you can control the volumes. So from minus 30 I push it to minus 15 and at zero is the maximum. Moving on SB at minus 30 of volume is great and at minus 20 we'll start to see second and third harmonic distortions at 20 Hz. And we have 90 dB out versus the 94 dB of the PB. So it's not only more efficient but also cleaner when pushed at high volumes. And actually that's why I went with the dual SVS SB2000 Pro in my final configurations, on theater configurations, to be able to have more dynamic and less distortion, right? But let's move to the subjective review and let's speak about the sound quality in movies. Both subwoofer I tested in my Dolby Atmos setup, that is a 5.2.4 as usual, but in this case for this review it will be a 5.1.4. A great setup with the new Cinema 40 from Marantz that we just reviewed and a full Sonos Faber Sonetto 1 as home theater speakers. And with Dirac Live I create two presets so it was really easy to switch between the two subwoofer. And of course take this huge PB2000 Pro and switch it with the SP2000 Pro. And I play some Blu-rays, actually if you take a look on the SVS webpage there is an article regarding best movie for test your home theater subwoofer and I will let the link in description. And the first one that I used was Age of Tomorrow where in the first sequence on the movie there is a visceral sub bass sweep. Oh 
my god it's something explosive it's crazy and here i was really satisfied from the sb2000 pro to deliver a ultra clean sub bass performance but moving on the pb the power of the subwoofer literally shake my couch It's almost like in the SB is missing some informations around 20 or under 20 Hz. And actually you saw it also in the PB measures that is able to play it with more energy in the sub bass area. Like more air was coming out from the subwoofer from the PB was just a monster. These recordings are done in binaural so if you use a headphone that is able to play 20 Hz you should be able to hear some difference. Moving on Jurassic Park, I play the scene number 11, where the T-Rex is making his first appearance. Where's the goat? Again, great ability of the SB2000 Pro to reproduce the T-Rex deep voice and breath. But moving on the PB, instill a deep fear atmosphere in my room that was just different and I have to say it better. Also, T-Rex steps has longer decay on the PB, make it more realistic. On the SB was just too much clean. Dune is another great 4K Blu-ray movie that I love. Let's take a look of the intro scene. My planet Arrakis is so beautiful when the sun is low. My planet Arrakis is so beautiful when the sun is low. So I don't know if you notice it, but the heartbeat intro are coming with more body right on the PB and also the explosions, they have more authority compared to the SB. So are definitely not bad at all on the SB, but the PB are different. They are slightly bigger with more volume and slightly more fat, let's say like that. Moving on Super 8, that is another great Blu-ray test for your subwoofer also I took it from the SVS article and I played the chapter number three where there is the train crash. This scene is really complex, requires a great dynamic and it will make a huge difference when you play it with two subwoofers instead of only one.
here again with the PB, I was able to feel the air of the flames. My room was rumbling, just great, it was great, beautiful. And was difficult to achieve a result like that only with one SB2000 Pro, something that I had it probably with two SB2000 Pro, but with a different sound tonality. The air colorations of the PB in movies is top. And as last movie I play U571. And in the submarine attack scene, the difference between SB and PB was pretty different. When it's come to play really low, below 25 Hz, the PB is make a huge difference. And when we speak about 20, 25 Hz, it's really about to feel the pressures rather than sound, right? Something that with the PB was more evident. I play also the Hans Zimmer concert, one of my favorite. Let's take a look. With both we have a beautiful bass lines, but the bass drum of the PB is coming with more body. Beautiful. So there is no secret that ported subwoofer are, yes, slightly better for home theater, but it's not true at all that sealed subwoofer are not good for movies. The SB didn't disappoint it at all with a great performance. But what about hi-fi and stereo reproductions? Let's find out. For this test, I paired the SB and the PB with the new LRS Plus. And I choose these speakers because they are really not shining in the bottom, sub-bass, bottom end for authority. The in-room frequency response under 60 Hz, we have a fast road off. Had a subwoofer in your hi-fi stereo is nothing easy. Took me weeks, months of test. And I spoke about it when we reviewed the SPL crossover. It's an active crossover and is exactly done for integrate subwoofer to your hi-fi stereo in five minutes. It's crazy. Just take a look of the video review. What about integrate a subwoofer without an external crossover? Well, you will not be able to cut in the positions where you want. For example, I have uh, a cancellations around 60 Hz, 60, 70, and by cutting an 80, 85, I don't have to be worried about it anymore. Not pretty impossible, impossible to achieve it without it. And not only, also with active crossover, I have the possibility to switch between with and without subwoofer just with one click and be able to do some fine tuning, not only on the subwoofer, but also on the speakers, like crossover points, phase and sub K. But let's take a quick look of the measures because I think they are interesting. So here we have a comparison of the left and right channels with and without subwoofer. I think no comments needed. So extensions under 60 Hz are drastically improved. More details about it in the LRS Plus review. When it comes to music sound quality, my pick is the SB. But not only for speed, right? Because everybody, everyone is speaking about speed, that the silly subwoofer, they are faster. And they are. But the ported one is slow? Well, maybe. For example, in tracks like Save Me Tonight, in fast passages I had the feeling that bass drum was out of tempo. But this was just on few tracks because overall actually the PB was really fast for to be a pass reflex design subwoofer. PB that is taking most of the spotlight with a sort of V-shaped tonality more emphasized on the bottom end, something that you may like it or not. It's more airy, more colored, plentiful, sometimes it could be muddy or boomy, but never fatigue if well is told and actually I prefer it on some tracks or music general, like for example May, where bass intro was fat, round, airy and with presence. With the SB2000 Pro that was coming more clean, more refined, but who said that cleaner and refined are better, right? They are just different. And you may find yourself that you probably prefer the PB sound tonality. Moving on the SB you will get more precisions, bass will be more firm and solid, much more articulations and a quick start and stop reproductions. It will be more invisible and better integrated with your speakers. Overall more clean and with a better detailed retrieval on bottom end. Something that I prefer but only because are more closer to my personal taste. But not with all music genera because moving on to something like dance, electronic, 
The SB2000 Pro was too clean and lack of colorations, where the PB was beautifully round, big, boosted, warm. This thing, for example, feel like of Fitzgerald. Wow, 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 a huge difference. So if you are looking for a subwoofer for this type of music, going with the bass reflex, it will probably giving you a huge satisfaction. So yes, definitely in the end, sealed subwoofer will perform better in music and ported subwoofer better in movies, right? But we saw that are not the only things to take it in consideration. And another interesting aspect is sides, where for sure the sealed one is coming more with a wife acceptance factor. And not only we saw also that push it at high volumes, actually the ported will perform better with less distortions, where having only one sealed subwoofer, it will struggle a little bit in complex passages. Something to take it in consideration, right? Because with only one ported subwoofer, you can actually doing the work of two subwoofer, two seated subwoofer in movies. I hope you guys you found this video helpful to understand which subwoofer is more. It will give you the best performance in your environment. Subscribe to the channels to support my work and see you soon.